Greg Adams here from Wedding Film School, and today I'm going to teach you how to accept payment online, but first I'm going to quickly explain how I ended up using Square's Cash App. For my first few weddings, like most people starting out, I was accepting cash under the table from couples. I was sporadic with when I would actually accept the payment, sometimes before the wedding, on the day of, or even after I delivered their package. I really didn't know any better and quickly realized that I needed to take the finances of this business seriously. That meant recording payment information, writing receipts, and eventually paying sales tax and income tax. I registered Cadams Media as a DBA with the county clerk's office and opened a business checking account separate from my personal bank account. I began accepting a retainer of 20% of their total balance at the signing of their contract. This amount acts as a placeholder for my service on the date of their wedding. I accept the final 80% of the couple's balance one week before shooting their wedding. I avoid having to worry about any money on the day of the wedding. If for some reason the couple is delayed in getting their money to me, but are communicating about the issue, I'll shoot their wedding, but no editing will start until final balance is paid in full. I've never really had an issue yet. I eventually made the switch to digital bookings, and that includes online invoicing and payment. I currently use Square's Cash. The service charges 2.75% to receive payments, so it's not that bad. You can build a custom business cash tag and profile. Here's mine. Cash currently only accepts payment from debit cards, which is a positive to me because a client paying for their wedding with a credit card is a red flag. Finally, I like the simplicity of the design and the transaction process. The app is both web and mobile based. It's beautiful and it's easy. PayPal is the other main option for accepting payment online. The service charges 2.7% plus 30 cents per transaction, which is higher than Square's cash by a little bit, but if you use it a lot, and especially with $4,000, $5,000 packages, it adds up. Most people already have a PayPal account because of eBay, but PayPal's design and process seems a bit stiff and businessy to me. Lastly, a lot of people are illegally using a new app called Venmo. Owned by PayPal, Venmo is a person-to-person -person payment service and does not support payment for goods and services. Anyone who uses Venmo to accept payment for a service like wedding cinematography is violating the terms of agreement that you signed when making their account. I don't recommend any wedding filmmakers to use this for their business. People always ask if they can charge their clients the credit card and debit card processing fees. The answer is yes and no. It depends on the state you're selling in and the rules of the company involved, which could take a little bit of digging through tremendously boring terms and conditions, so check at your own risk. A lot of filmmakers use studio managing apps and websites for their business, which usually include some kind of accepting payment within the app itself. Um, a couple of the major ones that people use are Wave, 17 Hats, HoneyBook, QuickBooks, ShootQ, Tave, and FreshBooks. A lot of books. So in conclusion, I think Square's cash service is perfect for my do-it-myself style of running my business. An easy process and pleasing aesthetics are important to my love for minimalism. Uh, so what service do you currently use and why? I love you. Peace out.